Well, as closure announcements were made across the state yesterday, many families looked to, to see how they would keep their children busy and warm during their days off. Our reporter Rachel Johnson has more. Inside the water park at Grandview Lodge in Nisswa, kids were not phased by the sub-zero temperatures outside. Cold weather just can't keep us home. We made sure we had blankets and candles. We had our snow clothes if we ever did stall. Students around the state were excited when they heard the news that classes would be canceled due to oncoming frigid temperatures. Very excited. Very excited. Brainerd, Pequot Lakes, Pillager, and Aiken were just a few of the school districts that made the decision to close school for Tuesday and Wednesday. After speaking with other area superintendents, the superintendent of Aiken Public Schools decided to call off school for Tuesday and Wednesday and will be looking at what to do for Thursday morning. I look at a number of things, look at the, of course, the weather conditions. I, the National Weather Service has information we can access. I talked to our bus supervisor and see, because we have to worry about buses running in the mornings and being available. And, and just kind of in general talk to the area superintendents as to what they're doing and as a result of all that talk, we come up with a decision. Though the students were excited, school cancellations can cause uncertainty for many working parents. The YMCA stayed open to allow families to use their child care services. I wanted to keep at least the, the main facility open for people, um, as well as our licensed child care. People still have to go to work and a lot of people count on us. So I wanted to keep at least the, the main operation. While counseling school is not ideal, the safety of the students is the number one priority for the school districts. We're very concerned about the safety of our students we, and staff. We don't want people, you know, like the bus stops, we don't want them standing around because, as you know, get, you can get frostbite very quickly in this type of weather. And, and we don't want vehicles breaking down either and with buses. And so just overall safety of our, of our students and staff. And, and I think parents will feel a bit better about that as well. Frigid temperatures may continue into Thursday, and area schools will update if any further closings are needed. Reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. The Brainerd YMCA has canceled after school activities and fitness classes for tomorrow, but will remain open for general use and child care services. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.